hello collective welcome back to the platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the youtube channel you are greatly appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always okay i return to source i return to center all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy okay whatever the enemy has stolen from you it is returned to you being returned to you as we speak all evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak as i have said so shall it be it's like the course of thinking twice about it is that do i want to come out do i not want to come out okay judgment is final let's go ahead and do our oracle read before we do our tarot reading okay okay so 17 comes to eight it said the quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable you are as independent as you are ambitious capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency focus and skill i am independent okay 99 18 9 it's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life you have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill unleash your true power i am courageous okay it's a have patience rewards are sweeter when earned through persistence good things take time that's for somebody out there 19 10 independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you you are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire i am a pioneer okay there we have it folks <clears throat> excuse me let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading i've been having some type of thing with my throat it says someone wants me to shut up or something like that so i went ahead and created my throat cleaner <laughs> to lubricate my throat we don't have that problem anymore so keep on sending the spells honey keep on sending them <laughs> we know how to deal with them over here <laughs> someone has been sending <laughs> someone has been sending some type of shut up spell that shut up shut up i'm like no i'm not shutting up i'm not shutting up <laughs> so we made my little rosemary uh, mixture with a, a couple of other herbs in there and it's working beautifully so anyways let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading we have a community here or we have a union that's coming together two people may be coming together after some type of long period of stagnation being caused by people behind the scene someone could be going through some type of court situation i don't know if it's like a separation or something is being balanced out in the court system but you and someone coming together is your justice for one another. You will be pouring into each other in order to move on. There is something where a king of pentacles is in some type of situation with a queen of wands that's refusing to let go. She's a little burdened about this man investing in you because if he invests in you, then it's going to lead to some type of ending for her because she relies on this man for her likelihood but that's not something i feel like he should be worrying about in this life we are living honey incarnating existence and all of that we are on a solo mission yeah on the cosmic level we are all one blah 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 but we are right here right now okay so there's some type of manipulative tactic a female uses against a masculine is that she has molded him manipulated in him in a way where he feels like if he lets go of this woman that he's going to be you know leaving her at a disadvantage why are you worried about how her people need to be able to fend for themselves it's nice to have people to help to help you out but you need to be able to stand on your own two feet okay no one should make you feel obligated to do something for them Okay, we are all on a solo mission. You need to be able to fend for yourself because you should not be able to 
uh, rely on people to always be there to do something for you. Learn how to stand on your own two feet. Learn how to fend for yourself. Learn how to provide for yourself. These are the types of women that men would be with and you're doing magic on them to block their future, block opportunities for them. And these men, <clears throat> excuse me, these men are so committed to them, they don't realize they're not there of their free will. There's some type of working going on behind the scenes, okay? So there's something like that where a queen of wands, yeah, is doing something to a masculine behind the scenes to keep him trapped, keep him from moving forward. And she's not exactly kind to this person, but she's very manipulative in the way she goes about things, Okay. Um, so you two coming together will be your justice. Whenever this person decides to come out of this, if he waits too long, you're going to be moving on to someone else as far as you be giving you being given a higher level soulmate because it's masculine. For some reason, I guess this magic is very strong. He's having a hard time letting go. He's trying to hold on to something, something or someone he does not realize is doing magic on him and blocking his future okay this is supposed to be his future but he's feeling stuck unfulfilled right living in like and things like that and he does not want to let go because someone has brainwashed him to make him think like if he moves on things are going to get worse or you know i don't know if they took some type of oath with each other is that we're always going to be there for one another we're never going to uh you know betray each other or, or separate or something fall apart. Honey, you got to be careful with these oaths that you make with people and look at the energies that you are making these oaths with. It's absolutely some type of ritual someone is doing on a masculine to keep him stuck. And she's doing things behind the scenes as well with other people as far as getting them to help her block him from being able to move on. Or if she thinks he's interested in you, she's doing things with other people to make sure that you don't have any contact with this person. He doesn't have any contact with you. Is that someone has figured out a formula to a masculine and she's been working him for I don't know how long, but she's really just using him. Is it someone that does not want to have to work for what it is she needs in life or what she wants? She don't know what she wants. These are one of those confused women. Anytime you have to do magic to get something out of life or get someone is pathetic as heck. That means that you are not someone who's like i don't i don't even want to use the word never mind on that i said something about the queen of wands that she goes on the bottom showing up so there's absolutely a queen of wands doing something with a with a a, a, a a king of pentacles okay and he's having a hard time letting go because there's something where is that every time he tries to let go she will either like lay with him there's some type of grip she has on him it's really pathetic and he's pathetic as heck too my goodness there's something really pathetic about the both of them is that she's like a insecure little energy around him oh you can't leave me you promised you would never leave me uh and then he's there like a little puppy doll in his mind all day about oh i can't leave her she's gonna fall down she's gonna lose her stability if i leave why do you worry about stuff like that people should be able to take care of themselves she's a woman this is a grown woman she should be able to take care of herself anyways collective <clears throat> whether this person comes to you or not whether you two get together or not source is going to be partnering you up with someone worth your time uh someone of a higher level soulmate that's going to have that equal give and take with you okay and this is going to bring balance into your life there's some type of balance being brought into an uh, uh energy's life because you've earned this okay and you receiving this uh, um I don't know what this is like it's some type of decision that has been made by the spirit realm that it is time for you to have this abundance in your life or some type of union to come together okay so it could it could also be that this is someone this masculine that's stuck with this dark worker he's someone that you possibly had a calling with a contract with but because he doesn't know how to let go of toxicity hasn't been doing the work to heal something has been void like a contract may have been void so now you have a higher level soulmate coming in in divine timing, and this is leading to some type of disappointment or ending for someone, but you and this person are going to be having some type of rebirth, okay? You have people behind the scenes that may be sending you energy trying to cause you some type of death and well and death and ending. Oh, honey, I don't know how to put it. Like you have people sending you energy to cause you an ending basically, so you're not here anymore. There's something like that. It's not just one person. It's a group of people doing this, okay? but you are very protected 
There could be a masculine that's behind the scenes protecting you and you're not aware of this person. Okay, but this is a whole collaboration between a group of people, the feminine energy that he's with or he left, uh, oh, her families and friends, his families and friends, they're all up against this person. All of them are up against him, okay? So when the time comes, there's going to be some type of disappointment for someone. Someone's going to have to cut their loss. And I very much think so. It's going to be this masculine. He's going to have to cut his loss and put an end to this situation and move on. Like learn how to stand his ground or something. Because, honey, this is looking really pathetic. He's going to have to make the decision to move on. Like make the decision. Yeah, just what I'm saying. I didn't notice this was out here. He's going to have to make that decision and move on. Like they're already split up in the spirit realm. There's something where she's like deceiving him, telling him, oh, we're meant to be. We are so meant. No, they're not. You're with a dark worker. Someone is working root magic on you. I'm telling you. And they are dismantling you every day that they are with you and you don't know it. You're sleeping with the enemy, but she's there brainwashing you, telling you that you two are meant to be. You're not meant to be. Someone, someone, uh, uh, <clears throat> Someone is afraid of being in poverty. This is why they're brainwashing you and telling you that you two are meant to be. No, she's basically saying, I'm meant to have a good life and you give me a good life. So it is what it is. I'm going to keep telling you what you want to hear, what you need to hear. So you can keep giving me the money that you're giving me and I'm living this good life. Right? That's all she's doing. So <clears throat> until you, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh my Lord. What in the world? <clears throat> Until you find your confidence to move on, you're going to keep staying in this situation and losing. Losing your self-respect because you're basically a joke now. And this woman sees you as a joke. She's living in bliss and you're out here worried. Having to pretend like you're fulfilled in a relationship that you are not fulfilled in. Excuse me. Let me drink some of my tea there we go oh that's that is tasty anyways yesterday it was worse i was trying to like do my videos and i have kept having to clear my throat i'm like someone is definitely wanting me to shut up but i'm not shutting up i got something to say okay yeah honey you're gonna have to grow some balls I don't know what I don't know if you have any right now. You're a man. You should have some, but you're gonna have to learn how to use those balls or something and move on with your life. You have clarity about why someone is with you. You have clarity about who you're supposed to be with or where you're supposed to be. You have clarity that you are with someone you shouldn't be with. So you need to find your balls and stand your ground and move on with your life with the truth that's been revealed to you about a community, a family of people that have been tricking you and blocking you. Yeah, let go. Because every time, the longer you stay with these people, the longer you're hanging yourself. You're like a, I don't know what they call it, basically a bit just hanging in the, just dangling in the air. Like you're like a pinata and your family members and friends, they're just taking, taking turns and taking a whack at it, taking a whack at it. And they're waiting to see when you're going to pass out finally and let go and, you know, just, right? So you keep hanging in there, right? You think you're hanging in there and things are going to get better. They ain't getting better for you. By the time you decide to leave from here, you're going to be like out, out, <laughs> honey. They're going to, I'm telling you, by the time you decide to leave, this is going to be you done. No money, no friends, no family, no nothing. Because you're going to have some type of hate for these people for what they've done to you. But you can't blame anyone because the truth has been revealed to you is what I'm being told. Something has been illuminated to you and you know the truth. But there's something about your mental, even though you know the truth, you have some type of disgusting loyalty to people that don't have loyalty to you. And you'll stay around them trying to prove your worth to them. They don't care. They don't care. You need to go within, do some introspection. I don't know how long we got to tell you this. I feel like I've had this person show up in one of my reads before. You need to grow up. I don't know if people baby you or something. You got to grow up. You're a man. Be a man. Be a man. Grow up. If there's one thing I, I can do, it's like sissies. I cannot. Yeah, this is your future. Partnering up with someone that's genuine with you. You want genuine love, but you're stuck in some type of toxic karmic 
the karmic cycle with someone <clears throat> that don't give two SHIT about you, but because you're financially stable, this is why they are with you. Mm-hmm. If there's one, uh, honey, this is going to be you. This is what you're supposed to have, and they've been blocking you from happiness. Your families, your friends, her families, her friends, they are all in on it. They don't want you having this. They're trying to destroy this for you because they benefit with you being in toxic city. You not having genuine love, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if the woman you are with, they've been grooming her to act like she's changed or she's healed or something. She didn't do nothing. That woman didn't do no work. That sister don't care about no healing. She don't want to let go of a lifestyle you provided her, okay? I can. You're giving me weak-minded men. I cannot. I cannot. Yeah, I cannot. This is your life. This is the life you're supposed to have. But you're out here trying to prove yourself to someone. Talking about, I made an oath with her. I said, I will never betray her. I will never leave her. When you try to leave, she's calling you to cause you more confusion. And then you go into some type of still make a uh, state of mind. Oh, I can't leave her. I did make a promise that I will always support her. I will always be there. What are you, a sugar daddy or something? Because that's what I'm getting. And I feel like that's how this person sees you as a sugar daddy. They don't have no love for you. Like someone knows, someone goes to a practitioner to get the truth about your future. Like she knows what you're supposed to have. And she's trying to block that because once you leave, she's done. She's done. So she's going to have to fend for herself. And you're there worried about her while she's emptying out your pocket. I, I don't get it. This is some good entertainment. You know what? You have a lesson to learn. You have a lesson to learn. I can't. It's kind of men. I can't. They can't come around me being weak minded. You're going to get your hurt feelings hurt real bad. Because please, you don't let a whole woman control you for what? And then she's not bringing nothing into the household. I'm telling you, gaslighting your behind and everything. Really playing with you. Okay. Okay. There's a business plan. Some of you may have, like, the masculine, whoever this is, you have some type of dream, some type of business you're trying to build or bring into fruition. I don't know if you thought you were going to do it with this woman. Yeah, you thought you two were going to work together and manifest something into being. That was the wrong partner, partner you got with. You got to make some type of change if you want to live a fulfilling and abundant life, the one that you've been dreaming of, because you're coming up as someone who's a bit of a dreamer. You may be very artistic and things like that, okay? But whoever you're stuck with, baby, that's death. Yeah, you're very creative, intuitive, very gifted. And I think you hide this aspect of yourself from people. But this is your energy. And the person you are supposed to be with is the same energy as this, okay? And people are possibly even fighting you when you try to tell them you want to move on. You need to stop talking to people about your dreams, your plans, and things like that. Keep it to yourself. Keep your plans to yourself because your friends and family, her friends and family, co-workers and everything, they're trying to keep you in some type of energy you shouldn't be in. They all benefit from you. I don't know. I think you may have lost a lot of money already investing into the wrong person. Okay. I don't know. I try not to be judgmental, but honey, I am human too. But you give me that kind of weak-minded man that you still have some growing up to do. You, you got to grow up, so... You got to grow up. You got someone uh, stabbing you and then telling you they love you. And you're there talking about, oh, I can't leave her. The whole time they got a whole knife in your back. Make it make sense. It never will. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're fighting. They are fighting about you giving some type of offer to someone. They're fighting about you giving an offer to someone. You've made some type of decision. You need to stop talking to these people. Stop talking to them about what you want to do. Like you, the dreams you have, these people are never going to understand. You are, are not the same. Even if they are families, they're friends, or co-workers you've been around for decades, you are not the same as these people. Okay? So there may be someone you're trying to apologize to. Maybe you're trying to ask for forgiveness or uh, come to some type of resolution with someone. Right? 
and you keep talking to someone about it or people behind the scenes about it you need yeah honey i'm telling you i'm sorry to say it this way but you need to find your balls and use them you need to find your balls you got those balls for a reason okay but you need to become this in your life in the upright take charge of your life find your voice authority we're not saying come out here and be a brute but find your strength your authority your confidence because that's what an emperor does and is you 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 need to use your foresight go within and find that and move on i'm telling you and move on move on there's a reason why these people are fighting with you when you say you want to move on with your life and go somewhere else there's a reason why they found out that you have an interest in someone else and they started doing everything to block it there's a reason for that you need to ask yourself why are they causing me all this problem because i want to go somewhere else what is it about this person that they don't want me to be with this person i'm telling you what is it about this person that they don't want me getting in a relationship or a union with this person because this is your future with this person there's something you can have with this person that you cannot have with anyone else not the woman you're with i don't know if you're still with her or left her whatever it is honey that's your business but whatever you're meant to have, as far as your contract, your soul mission, your purpose, in, on the grand scale of things, you are never going to have that with whoever it is you're with right now. Someone is blocking your destiny. And they're playing on your emotions by telling you that YouTube made some type of oath or agreement that you will always take care of her. It's not your job to take care of, of grown people. It's not your job to take care of grown people. Okay? You have someone that don't even pour into you. It's what I'm hearing. I'm telling you, move on so you can have this. Whoever you're meant to be with. You have someone that don't even pour into you. The only time they pour into you is when they need something from you or they feel like the relationship is about to end. You're about to go somewhere else and give your offer to someone else. That's when this woman will change her character and start behaving herself. That's, that's immature as heck. That should let you know you are with the wrong person you need to study the person you are with they've never been a nurturer they don't pour into you in any way but once they feel like something is up that's when they become the ideal partner someone just likes to shop someone is very vain very vain and this queen of wands keeps showing us so you must be with a queen of wands so whoever you're trying to go to as well must be a queen of wands but wands but they're in the upright an empress queen of wands and that's a bit of a firecracker <laughs> but this is you stay vigilant about the person you are with your friends your families co-workers who you're talking to what you're telling them keep your plans to yourself move in silence become a smooth criminal because these people are in some type of competition with you with your destiny or for your destiny trying to block it every time you tell them you're going to do something every time they feel like you're about to make a move they do something to interject, okay? They do something to interject. I don't know if you started some type of business with people or someone in this group and it didn't work out. It was never meant to work out. I don't know if you got into some type of alliance. I don't know, commitment. You got into some type of commitment that you gave to these people. You gave to these people and it's not fruitful for you. It's caused you some type of loss. You're having a hard time getting over. And you're going to have to cut your loss and go through some type of rebirth so you can come out stronger and awaken. Okay? Yeah, honey. Yeah, you got some type of plan. You, you, you're going to have to figure this out. You're going through some type of rebirth. Whatever plans you have, keep them to yourself. Keep them to yourself. Yeah, free yourself. I'm telling you, cut your loss and free yourself. Cut your loss and free yourself and move on. Move the heck on from all this karma, this drama, this nonsense. Move on. Cut your loss. Cut your loss. I'm telling you, every time you try to move, they cause a stalemate. And you're mentally, I don't know what it is about your mental. There's something about your mental. You're easily misled, easily manipulated. People can just tell you something and you go off of that. 
You need to have a mind of your own. Introspection, self-actualization. There's some type of healing you need to go through. And you've been putting it up, putting it up because it makes you feel uncomfortable. Because you've been living some type of lifestyle for a long time and you're having a hard time letting go. You can't keep telling yourself it's too hard to do. I don't know if I can do this. Well, honey, when they're done depleting you and they reject you, you'll know if you can do it or not. So keep keep on keeping on. Yeah. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. You'll find out. <laughs> you'll find out. You'll find out that the people you have been committing yourself to don't give two craps about you. And these very people you are working with have been causing a stalemate in someone else's work, someone else's livelihood, resources, income. They've been trying to hide someone. You have your family members and your friends, her family members and friends. They have been bullying someone behind the scenes to interfere with this person's livelihood. They don't want this person to be seen as stable. They don't want you to see whoever you're interested in as stable. They want them to be in a chaotic setting, chaotic mindset, unstable, mentally unstable, unreliable, non-committal. That's what they want you to think about someone that they are non-committal. They don't commit themselves to anything. Not their work, family, friends, relationships. They don't care about anything. That's how they want you to see someone, but it's not true. These people are interfering or have been interfering with someone's livelihood, resources to make them appear a certain way. There are even people in this group, this collaboration, that are wanting to free themselves now and just move on and put an end to all of this nonsense because it's becoming too much of a burden for them. They've been doing this for a long time and you've been there like a little happy dog with your tail whacking tongue out, following these people around, thinking that you all are friends and you're on the same page. No. They've been on a whole different page and you need to let go. Need to let go. You need to self-actualize. I think I said that earlier. You need to self-actualize. You are someone that looks to outside forces for validation, for answers. They don't have any answers to give you because they don't even have answers for themselves. Okay, you need to self-actualize. And this is what the Most High has for you. Fulfillment. Okay, pleasures. But it's the kind of pleasure that's just, it's upright. It's from the most high. You got people causing you complications and challenges and you don't even know that, that you've been sleeping with the enemy the whole time. Sleeping with the enemy the whole time. And you've been like, I don't want to say it, but martyring yourself, hanging yourself, like just a hanging in the, in the air. And they're just taking a whack at you. Boop. Boop, boop, like a, a baseball, the baseball bat, boop, just a tick in the whack. And you need to free yourself, okay? Maybe what I'm saying, it sounds harsh, but the moment you do that, this is you. Success. This is how you defeat your enemies. So if you think staying in wherever you are is going to, it's going to lead to fulfillment for you. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not. You're always going to be trapped in your mind. Yeah, you see that you need to go take your offer somewhere else and have a brand new beginning. So if you think staying where you are is going to lead to some type of fulfillment because you're proving your commitment to whoever you made a promise to or took an oath with, it's not, honey. You're not. You're gonna. It's going to lead to nothing but disappointment disappointment yeah oh you see that yeah you're amongst a group of people and this is what they're doing behind the scenes they're planning there's something where they're also planning like they're watching someone <sighs> they're planning to end someone if you're interested in someone this is what they're planning to do to this person this is a whole family that is on one page. They've got in together, came up with a plan to end someone. And it's not going to end in their favor. It's not going to end in their favor. These people are going back and forth behind the scenes, deciding when to do something to someone, how to do it. And this is all because you express some type of interest in someone. You need to learn how to keep your mouth shut, keep things to yourself. I don't know how people don't know how to move in silence. 
trying to impress people. But I, oh, honey, that's a lie. I know because when I was younger, I used to spill my beans to everyone. Oh, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. Now you can't pay me enough to tell you what, it, what the heck it is I'm up to. Okay? <laughs> you can't pay me enough. I am content by myself. I, I, it, that's for me to know and for you to find out. But I don't know who you're going to find it out from. It won't be me, though. It won't be me. So you have these people watching this woman that you're interested in, speaking to you about her. You have someone speaking to you about this woman like they know her. They don't know this woman. You got someone that gossips, gossips with you a lot about a feminine energy that you're interested in. And they don't know nothing about this woman. Not a thing. But they act like they know her. They're all watching her. Keeping track of her. Stalking her. But they don't know nothing about this woman. Not a thing. And then you have a, I don't know if people are fighting with a queen of pentacles or whatever this is. Someone has been exposed and is being seen for who she is. This woman could be going through some type of ending. She uh, got a group of people to get together to come after someone that did nothing to her. Maybe she was paying people to do something to someone. Whoever she was coming after is a true queen of pentacles. And that person is just focused on manifesting their new life and things like that. But if this is like a mother figure to you, a wife figure or whatever, they've been coming after this woman because they don't want you connecting with her. They don't want you giving her any type of opportunity. They don't want this woman having any type of fresh start, new beginning. This woman is focused on herself, mind you. She's not paying attention to any of these people. All she's doing is focusing on her life, taking care of her family, moving on with her life and things like that. Meanwhile, you have all of these karmics behind the scenes blocking something for this woman or trying to block something for her because they don't want you to see this woman in a specific light. This is something they've been doing for quite a while. Quite a while. So I don't know if you two are going through some type of divorce or something like that. I don't know what this is. You are you two could be going through some type of divorce and it's taking a little bit more time than you thought it would. So that lets me know that you maybe are awakened to the shenanigans that these people have been doing behind the scenes and you're trying to free yourself and manifest a new beginning for yourself. But just know you're going through some type of rebirth. You may experience some type of, uh, um, I don't know what to call this, but like a, some type of loss is not the end of the world, but it's leading to some type of new beginning for you. Okay. You're going to have to leave. I don't know if, you, I don't even want to say this because it seems so super, super natural. You could be part of like a code. I don't know if you're high, high ranking in this code or something. I don't know what this is. But in order for you to have true fulfillment in life, you're going to have to leave that behind you. Okay. Right now you're having a hard time seeing things straight because you've let other people feed you your knowledge and information. Other people do the introspection for you. I don't know how they're doing that for you, but that's apparently that's what's going on. They think for you. They feel for you because they tell you what to do, what not to do. And you just follow along like that happy dog with the tail wagging, tongue outside. And I'm not getting like a young character in here. I'm not getting a young character. What I'm getting is someone mature, like an old, older guy. So you may, I, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that, but you need to put an end to this chapter. There's something where there needs to be some type of closure. And I don't think it's with these people, but you need to have closure either with yourself or the energy you're trying to go towards to start something, whatever this is. I'm, yeah, it's the energy you're going towards. You too need to have closure. Hmm. I like how they landed right in the middle of everything. How they landed right in the middle of everything. Mm -mm -mm. You've been with, I don't know if some of you can win, some of you masculines went and jumped into a marriage with someone, like right off the bat. You didn't think twice about it. 
and then some of you have been stuck in some type of relationship for decades you're not fulfilled in it and it's something like that and it's different for all of you but you may want to reconsider yeah uh, you may want to reconsider okay they've been playing mind games with you causing you all type of mental conflict and say you don't want to go to her she's mentally unstable she don't got nothing she's poor she's broke but the most high has already spoken to you and told you who this person is in your life what kind of role they play so you already know who this person is they've been playing yeah they already told you who this person is either you had a dream you went and got a reading someone mature spoke to you or you've done some type of introspection but you already know who you're supposed to be with you already know so all of these manipulative tactics it should not be working on you it should not be working on you okay i don't know what the heck this is there is a full-time job to be trying to block two people from coming together the heck are you two are you all this interested in blocking two people from coming together you may want to communicate with someone so you want to you want to reach out to someone and say what that hey i want to get back with you or something or i want to be with you hmm? i feel like you've tried to connect with someone before and there was some type of interference and you don't understand why maybe someone didn't respond you may be saying they're not responding to any messages and things like that look or look right in front of you there's a reason why because your family and friends have been interfering your family and friends have been interfering and it could be like your wife or your mother pay them to interfere that's what's going on that is what's going on yeah they've been causing a lot of illusions a lot of illusions Someone may end up passing away because they caused, they did some type of damage that's not, that cannot be undone. Or someone is just very stubborn, too much of a narcissist, and too wicked at the heart. So they may end up passing away in order for two people to come together. She's going to have to let go or, you know, it's her life. It's like, it's, at this point, it's her life or letting two people be. And she's going to have to choose. Yeah, it's her life or letting two people be. And it seems like source has gone with the two people coming together. So you all may have to say goodbye to someone. Someone is sick behind the scenes. And this is all because of bitterness. All because of bitterness. Yeah, I think source has gone with the two people coming together because it's, yeah, yeah, honey, baby, the heavens has spoken. So they can keep watching and stalking this person all they want. Okay? Your family is not your family. They're all collaborating against you. They've all betrayed you. They've all been plotting against you. All of them. You may have genuine intent for these people, but they don't have genuine intent for you. There's too much money at stake. These people are greedy. Yeah, they are greedy. They care more about the money than they care about, about you and each other. That's all that matters to them is money. Money. Telling you, and they're not going to be having it. Funny. <laughs> Dang. This is the source being funny. Because this is what matters to these people the most. It's money. And it's being taken away from them. So that way they don't have a way to finance these childish games that they're playing. All this nonsense that they're funding behind the scenes. It's all being taken away from them. There's something that's going on where a woman is either not able to pay people anymore. 
to to bully someone behind the scenes to block someone's forward movement she's not able to pay them anymore or she's being blocked out of someone's energy someone is not giving to her anymore this is someone very greedy and being she's not getting something and then you have another queen of pentacles possibly the one they're after every time someone wants to go and assist this person this group is interfering this woman is interfering to block this person from receiving assistance okay so someone could be with a masculine energy that she's been using for money and he's not splurging on her anymore he said you're gonna have to figure that out which would make sense because when i started i said there was a feminine energy using a masculine for his money right he re she relied on him for her resources her comfort he's not giving to her anymore or he's about to stop giving to her that's what you have to do to see sometimes how loyal people are to you if you're giving them money every saturday every monday every tuesday something like that stop giving to them for like two or three months and see how loyal they are to you stop giving to them stop taking them on shopping sprees stop buying them a new phone you know stop buying them the new purse Take your credit card away from them. Take your debit card away from them. See how much they love you. Turn turn the debit card off, the credit card off. And when they go to swipe and it says insufficient or decline or something like that, error. And then they call you. See what they say when you tell them, oh, you know, we're on a little, we're in a little fender bender right now. See what they say and keep that fender bender going for a, for a while. Do two to three months, maybe four months, six months, and see how this person reacts when they're no longer getting a dime out of you. It's that we live together, right? You have food here to eat. The bills are paid. You got clothes to put on your body. You have shoes. All of your hygiene products are here. You have everything you need, correct? Correct. You don't need anything else from me. Let's see how long that goes. That's when, that's when you get to see how much people really love you that's when you get to see when they how they how much they really really love you how invested are they in you how long are they going to keep waiting <laughs> this is when you find out how how invested they are in this relationship god forbid you take it to a year oh that's when they have a lot to say they have a lot to say that's when you you start get, being called all the different names when they're talking to their friends about you. This mother effort here. I haven't received a dime from him in three months. I can't do this no more. I'm getting tired of this SHIT. Mm-hmm. And then for some of you, turn it into telling them, suggesting to them that they get a job. See what happens. See what happens. You need to plan something. Plan it. Do it. Tell them to go get a job. Go get a job. Stop funding their lifestyles. You know how dumb it looks to be fun to be taking care of someone and they don't do nothing for you but cause you heartbreaks. Leave you hanging. Don't do nothing. Don't commit. Don't don't contribute nothing to your life. All they are is just pretty, but they don't have any substance to themselves. Matter of fact, they're even cheating on you. You're funding someone's lifestyle, spo spoiling them, and they're still cheating on you? And you call that love and commitment? Really? That says that you, as the masculine, you have some type of insecurity you're dealing with. Someone has told you that no one else is going to put a deal with you or take you in or take care of you. They don't take care of you already, so why are you with them? There's something with your mental that someone has learned how to play with it and they say anything to you and you go for it and you keep giving to them and they keep doing this to you and it's going to keep going on yeah it's going to keep going on <laughs> it's going to keep going on put a dare to that situation tell them you don't have any more money to give you you've lost a, you invested in the wrong thing whatever excuse you need to give them you're going through hard times right now some of you need to do something where you go, 
Come home in a wheelchair and tell someone you're not able to walk anymore. See if they'll take care of you. Play your role. Play your role. You're going to be disappointed because someone is going to jump ship real quick. Real quick. And leave you hanging. Because someone is literally with you for how much you can give them. What you can give them. What you can do for them from a financial standpoint. They don't give two SHIT about you about you someone's method of securing the bag is you you are their source of securing the bag vain superficial lazy i'm telling you this is how she secures the bag you see how that this person is holding on tight to that wand it may not even belong to them but they don't want anyone else to have it She's securing the bag. You are the bag. I don't know what kind of bag you are. Gucci, Dior, Louis Vuitton. Securing the bag, honey. I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. Securing the bag and don't have any Fs to gaze. No emotions, no whatever. And some of you masculines, you'll be with these kind of women. And then when you see other women... They are relaxed, chill, not out here chasing stupid stuff. They don't have the hourglass body and stuff like that. They think a little different. They're open-minded. You look down on them and you think, oh, well, I have my Instagram model. Yeah, you laugh at these kind of women because they're, they're out there with their emotions. They're you. They're doing what they need to do in life. They're not, they're, they don't have a whole lot of friends. They're not into the spotlights, the fame. The, uh, uh, what do they call it? The social life, social butterfly. That's not them. You need to be grateful for these kind of women because these are the kind of women you can trust. These are, I'm telling you, these are the kind of women you can trust and work with. They understand life from a whole different perspective. They have a whole lot to teach you. But you know what? Carry on with uh, the social butterfly that keeps using you for your money. Keep investing your time into them. They'll keep teaching you a lesson. A lesson? What lesson? Oh, emptying out your pocket while smiling in your face. Dabbing you in the back while smiling in your face. <laughs> ah, telling you that you two are meant to be, right? You better take your behind and move on and go heal and secure yourself a victory somewhere else. Move on. It may be difficult for you to do it. It's a lot of work. Uh, everyone you meet, they have invested time into the wrong person, but they had to find the strength to move on with their life. Move on. And a lot of people do that. You're not the only one. But there's something about your mental. You may be a pushover. And this is why you're still stuck in some type of karmic situation, trying to prove your worth and your loyalty to someone. Trying, talking about, I just stay calm. If I just stay calm, it's all going to blow over. No, it's not. You're going to lose a whole lot. You better move on. I just stay calm. I forgive. Mm, you keep forgiving. I said Queen of Wands, right? I knew this mother sucker was going to come out. I knew it was going to come out. You have two Queen of Wands. The one you want to go to and the one you are with. The one you are with has another partner. You're not the only one, by the way. You're the source of income for the one that you are with. You are a source of income. And she's stalking another woman to make sure that you don't get with that woman. I don't even think the other woman is paying you all any mind. She, she, she ain't paying you all no mind. If she was, she would have shown up here. In, I don't even think she show up in here. It means that she's paying you guys any mind that woman is off somewhere doing her own thing not paying either of you any mind don't know what is going on but you're whoever you are with that jizzy bell and gold digger that takes your money when you're in need and she's a traveling friend indeed yeah oh she's a gold yeah that one yeah she knows she knows where that woman is somehow because she's stalking her you know how dumb you gotta be to be stalking another woman another person that says insecurity. That says insecurity. Insecurities. That's what that is right there. 
And then they'll still fix their mouth to say that they're better than the other woman. But you're the one stalking the other woman online, in person, go into their house. How do you know where someone lives? They don't talk to you. They don't know you. <laughs> How do you know where they live? But you say you're better than them. And they don't even care what's going on with you, what you have, who you're with, not competing with you for a man because it's below, it's beneath them. Make it make sense. Okay, we have uh, four ones out here. It says the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and help you wake up to who you truly are. I am awakening. That will be you. You're going through some type of awakening and you're going to be connecting. Well, once you decide to leave this chaos, this low vibrational activity, whatever this is with these people, once you decide to leave, you're going to be connecting with the right kind of people so that you can start embarking on your true journey. The one that's going to lead you to fulfillment, growth. Okay. You're going to partner up with the right people, right community. They're going to support you clarity right illumination they will show you how it is you're supposed to move in life in the right way no ulterior motive and the universe is going to support you okay they're going to help you commit yourself to your path you know improve your skills and things like that growth acceleration positive energy things like that meanwhile you're out here going back and forth with a karmic and her toxic group of families and friends and yours too to keep you stuck no worries Prepare rather than worry. Adapting is what matters, okay? Anchor in the present. Thank you. Okay. Higher wisdom. Explore options. Learn what you can and expand your horizon. Turn the page. Oh, sir, your business is being exposed. You need to turn the page to the next chapter, okay? Turn the page. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.